Is this duplex going to be a deal or is it going to be a dud? Tim, let's find out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show where we work together one-on-one. -on -one. If you like what you see today and you want to work with me in the same way Tim is doing, send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll give you a call. We'll talk about it. Now, Tim, I just got done uh, filming another video for you, okay? Uh, that was a duplex that I liked on the west side of town. I liked that one quite a bit. And you had uh, asked me a bunch of questions. That was your first video we ever did together. So I went through all those with you. And one of your questions, uh, well, you had two questions, really, and I thought that kind of parlayed. Like, your comment to me was, <clears throat> being remote, I have a little I have little understanding on the path of progress in Cleveland. Your videos on the Metro Health Investment and the Amazon Fulfillment Center are great. I will rely on your recommendations regarding this. And then you had sent me this property, right? You thought this would be a good deal to Burr. This is the duplex that we're looking at right now. Let's cruise through the photos while I grab a little sip of water. All right, so <coughs> it appears we got one unit that <coughs> it, it looks from the photos like, it's probably rent-ready, but in reality, it's probably really not, right? Like, you got, like, the, the plates are on the ground here. Like, when you go up nice and close to these things, you might see scuffs or dings uh, in the units. Like, it's not far off, but, like, we got, you know, a pretty dated kitchen. Nothing, like, super great, but nothing super horrible. But, like, it's definitely not rent-ready, right? You could see, like, some of the <clears throat> things that, uh, if you look close, like right here, issue you got to pay money to fix that right here you see we're missing that little side piece right plus this counter itself is just pretty crappy uh this floor you know that, that floor is gonna need some love right you need to replace that floor get yourself a nicer floor okay uh and then as far as the other unit goes that one is just just totally wrecked right totally destroyed right this this floor this ain't gonna work this bedroom with this old floor that ain't gonna work right and then we get to just the nastiness uh, of the other unit that's going to need, you know, a full-on renovation, right? Every Everything is all jacked up in this, right? This floor is, like, done for, you know? Like, usually we can salvage, uh, we probably could salvage this. What you'd have to do is you'd have to buff it down real, real deep and then go an incredibly dark stain to cover that up, right? But this unit definitely going to need a big old reno, and the other unit's going to need minimal reno, okay? Uh, but that's why you were looking at it, right? You are looking at it because you considered it to be a bird deal. Two update electric panels, which is nice. Hot water tanks, probably mid, mid-life. Furnace is probably 10, 15 years old, just so you guys are all aware. Furnaces cost three Gs to replace. Hot water tanks cost about a G, right? I would assume these furnaces and hot water tanks are okay, but we need, we need to do some reno, right? But you know there's some reno, okay? And that's why you sent it to me as a burr. Now, here is where my issues come, right? 1550 Belmar Road, East Cleveland, 44118. This thing has been on the market almost an entire year. 288 days, and it's priced at 75 k right? As far as the bed bath count, each unit, three beds, one bath, right? Rents, like, yeah, dude, we could probably get, like, 800 a unit uh, for these, right? But herein lies the issue, right? And I, I have, like, mixed feelings about this, right? So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to walk you through all my thoughts and, and leave it to you to make the decision, right? Normally, East Cleveland is freaking the worst place in the world you can invest, right? It's like one of the most dangerous uh, places in America, right? If you're trying to buy, like, heroin or crack or something like that, East Cleveland, probably a good place to go, right? It's riddled with that type of crime, that type of issues. Uh, normally, very, very difficult. Uh, we grade neighborhoods based on their risk level. East Cleveland's got a grade of an F, right? If you guys want to see those grades, check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. That's on the Tools and Resources section uh, on HoltonWise.com, right? So normally, East Cleveland's like an F, right? F-class neighborhood. 
ask. You, Tim, had told me you're interested in C or B neighborhoods. But here is where um, my mixed feelings come, okay? Here is the thing. And I've, I've even done maybe one, maybe two videos on this before, okay? So let me just pull this bigger so I could illustrate this for you, okay? Now, you got... East Cleveland, right here, okay? You're in East Cleveland. This little triangle of East Cleveland is something I consider not to be as dangerous as the rest of East Cleveland, right? So East Cleveland, all up in here, but you go down here, you got Cleveland Heights, okay? Right? So you're on the very outskirts of East Cleveland, right? So <clears throat> East Cleveland, all bad, all horrible, all rough. Right? All this going north is bad. But this little triangle section here, it's got some natural barriers, right? You got this huge forest, this huge park right there. Over here, you got another natural border. And then over here, gets good. Over here, pretty decent, right? So that is where I have the mixed feelings, right? In general, East Cleveland, city services, totally broke, totally screwed up. Police force, horrible, totally broke, totally screwed up, right? Major issues. If, if you were on the other side of this, I'd say don't even look any further. It's terrible. Don't, don't, you don't want to be there. Too risky, right? But if you're over here, it's Cleveland Heights, and it's like, yeah, it's pretty good, right? Better services, right? So this, it's technically East Cleveland, but you basically get a lot of tenant base from, like, the Cleveland Heights and the, and the nicer stuff. You get a lot of college students over there. We've ran buildings over there, okay? So that's where I have the mixed feelings. Normally I say no way on uh, East Cleveland, but if it's in that one little triangle of East Cleveland, I've sold properties there before. I've managed properties there before. We've worked on it. I've driven those streets. It's actually pretty decent, but... I'm still probably going to lean towards I don't think you should do it, Tim, because specifically you wanted to do a burr on this, okay? I don't think it's going to work out numbers-wise, okay? The price already 75 k right? It's been listed forever. As far as the reno goes, we got probably at least $30,000 of reno, if not more, right? So if you had to buy it at like 75 k and you put in your 30, you're all in over 100 k right? Like what are you going to burr, right? Like you're still gonna get capped by that east cleveland yes you got like a property that for all intents and purposes for like a veteran investor you know they would know like hey it's i'm getting like some some cleveland heights action over here it's on the border it's definitely like very fringe but you want to burr and to burr guys that's going to require an appraisal and the appraisal's got to go your way okay so like People also, too, like they ask me, like, hey, what's the value of a property? You know, the value of a property is what somebody's really going to pay for it, right? So if I go to, like, sell a rental property, that's one thing. But when an appraiser comes in and they appraise the property, you know, appraisers, when they're appraising a property at a sale, right, they have, like, a big hint, like a big head start for how they determine their value because they have a contract that says, hey, somebody in an arm's-length transaction is willing to pay $105,000 for this or $150,000, whatever the number is, right? They have that big, uh, you know, that big thing, that big advantage, right? And, and that really weighs heavily on how they appraise these properties. When you guys, when we do these bird deals, okay, what these appraisers have to go off of, they go off of the last sale, right, where you're theoretically buying that incredibly undervalued, right? So to get an appraisal to, to come out so much higher that you're able to pull all that money back out, when you have, like, the stain of an East Cleveland address, I think it's going to be really difficult, man. And, guys, just so you guys know, when we do do bird deals, okay... Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. By the way, for everybody that doesn't know what a bird deal is, that stands for buy, renovate, uh, rent, refinance, repeat, right? You theoretically buy a property that's all jacked up. This fits the bill, right? You fix it up, you put some tenants in there, then you appraise it, bring all your money back out, and you repeat the process, right? Now, the further off from the original purchase, the better, right? So, like, if you buy it, 
and then go to refinance it like 45 days later, that appraiser is really, really narrowing in. Like, yo, in an arm's length transaction, the market just proved to me that the value's X, this very, very low price. Why does this person think it's changed in value that much, right? It's going to be very tough. And then you couple that on top of the fact that it's got that East Cleveland uh, zip code, East Cleveland address. I think it's going to be like a hell of a time for you to get a favorable appraisal, Tim. So uh, for all those reasons, I would say you're a brand new investor. You want to work the burst strategy. Uh, anytime you invest in real estate, there's there's going to be a level of risk. But for this being your first property, trying to attempt that, I don't think this would be the first deal for you where you really want to plant your flag, get things started, right? I think we should do some easier deals that have a lot less moving parts, a lot less variables, right? Do I think that if we are able to pick it up at a pretty decent discount off of that 75 and put in the re uh, the renovations, could we get some decent tenants in there? Yeah, absolutely. Again, we're right on the fringe. It's, it's not bad. It's nice. But with you trying to burr it out, I think you're going to be pretty well let down on how that appraisal goes. And, you know, you wouldn't even have to do the mechanicals here either, right? That furnace, those two furnaces, those two hot water tanks, to me, they look like they're both probably still working and, and in fairly decent condition, right? So then when the appraisers are looking at this, they're like, okay, you bought it for X. You're telling me you did all these renovations, but, like, you didn't replace the mechanicals. You didn't do this. What would you do? You just painted. You painted and you buffed some floors, and now you think the value is X amount higher? Like, it's going to be very tough, man. So I don't I don't think this is really going to be a good candidate for the burr strategy. Like, where are you going to burr it to? Plus, dude, I mean, if you bu had to buy it at 75, you're already 100-something into it, bro. It's, it's not where we want to be, right? You got to be all in at a much lower price than what I think the seller is going to want out of this, number one. Number two... You need to have more favorable comps in that city, okay? Those are the two things that are going to lead us to a recipe for success on a bird deal. So for all those reasons, dude, I don't think this is what you want to do. Now, you had also sent me another property, one that actually is in Cleveland Heights. And what I want to do for you, Tim, I'm going to take a look at that one now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.